Raise your hand if you've never seen this. Go to the ass hill. You've never seen this. This is your copy. Anybody else raise their hand ever seen this? This is your copy. Can I get a copy? You know what this says here? This is a copy of the original. It says, don't miss the great Morris drama. Look, look, an exclamation mark. <laughs> Welcome everyone to see the seventh wonder of the world. This is the prophet giving a demonstration. He letting people tie him up and he get loose. Just like Jesus did. Wow. And then he has Mimi Lomax Bay singing. He's attracting people to come so eventually they can take out their what? <laughs> 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 I have to go to the Grand Sheik first. Yes, sister. You want that? What temple you come out of? Number 75. Who's here for 75? Who's your Grand Sheik? Matthew. All right. I'm in here for this. We're going to go through pictures first. Now you see stuff on the internet, some of that stuff, it's just not true. It's not true. It's bullet dash. These are scallywags. <laughs> you want to know where the prophet's house was in Newark, New Jersey, and what it looked like? I seen something on the internet that had, that had a house that was way up there, these long stairs and what it's not right. This is where the prophet house was in New York, New Jersey. This is a picture of it. And the address is what? Anybody help me? This how it look. Don't try to take a picture of this. This is original. This is not a copy. This is original. I got to show it to you first. This is the first group of moles on the first temple site in 37 in February. And you have to come up here and look at this. I'm going to put it on the table. But you can see here all of these Moorish American mosques. This area is still exists in Chicago. And when the prophet said, the European are helping me, why not you? He was talking about who? Julius Rosenwald. Yes. So what did Julius Rosenwald do? He bought this land and gave it to the prophet. And he, and he made it in a way that nothing could ever be built on this land but a religious group, specifically the Moorish Science Company. So throughout the ages, Chicago Housing Authority built projects all around there, but they never built on this part of the land, even to this day. So we have in our archives uh, copies of receipt where we continually paid for the land. Oh, about maybe 15, 17 years ago, I did. I went downtown, got a lawyer to research this land uh, to bring it back. And uh, he said it was possible. So we need to put it on retainer. So that's, that's, that's like a stumbling block. When you get to that point and you don't have the finance to get the proper name back. But be it the will of Allah, it will manifest. It's one of the reasons why the prophet said, I need finance, need it back. But also in the archives about this land. When the prophet passed, you had all these illegal groups coming by, because what they did with this part of the land, they stored coal there. And in those days, they heated their houses with coal, black coal. So you can go in and get a bushel of coal on this land. So uh, somebody was renting this land to heat coal there. And so you had all these different groups to go by and say, pay me rent, pay me rent, pay me rent. 
And the man didn't know who to pay rent to. Because this group said, I'm the more science to put America. Like today. I'm the more science to put America. And so he just left. Huh? Yes. You can see you come again, this is not a copy, this is the original. You will only find this in the archives of the ones who have the authority of the prophet noble duality responsible. You can hear people do all this all the time, but they don't have it, honestly. Here you see little boys with their fezes on and they got knickerbockers on. Because this is 1927. So I'll leave it up here. When you get a chance, come up and take the case. Okay. Another four. So the Grand Bear is going to like this one. One more four. Who is this? Eight grand bay. Who is this? Eight grand bay. Eight grand bay. Yeah. This is eight grand bay. Then we go to something. I talked to grand bay sitting over there. I was excited. I was like a little boy in the canvas. I said, Grand Bay. You Grand Bay? Grand Bay. <laughs> I read all about your people. I read about this. I read about this. Grand Bay know his father had a lot of uncles. Is that what you're telling me? Grandfather. Grandfather? Grandfather. So, this is H. Grand Bay, and you can see the intensity in his eyes. Also, you can see him wearing his button. Now, the button I'm wearing today is what y'all have now. This is the original button from the archives. This is why we had it duplicated like you have now. Same size, same demonstration. Again, we sent this in to a company and waited for some time to get it made exactly like this. That's what you had. So I'll put this over here. Okay, let's get it. Here it is. Now you may see this floating all around the internet. Everywhere. It came from here. This is the original copy of the prophet in Mexico with his sombrero on. This picture got out of our archives and now it's floating all around. But this is the original. It's not a copy. I'm sure many of y'all saw this. Wasn't this a farewell given to him by the government at the time? I can't stand it. I, I won't lie to you. If I don't know, I'm going to tell you. This is the original photograph. 